Okay, a short video today. Uh, there's been a recent major change to Samsung Internet. It was my favorite browser, but uh, the changes are not major unless you use YouTube. So let me just explain what's gone on here. This is, I've opened up Samsung Internet, which works on all Samsung phones. Uh, not sure if it works on non-Samsung phones, to be honest, but it's a great browser, very fast, and loads of control. I did a separate video on this some time ago. I'll put the link below. But the big thing that's changed, this is all the shortcuts. This is my home section on Samsung Internet. If you go to Ad Blockers, I've actually got one. I used to have quite a few before, but I found this one, Ad Block for Samsung Internet, is the most up-to-date one, and it works very well. But you could have two or three or four, but it probably will slow down uh, your browsing experience. So it's got loads of other things. But now if I go to add-ons, this is interesting. I, I don't bother with the Amazon Assistant because I'm not really buying much from Amazon as I'm not actually based in the States at the moment. Um, the translator is pretty good, but doesn't work with many of the languages. But this is interesting. Ad blocker for YouTube. It used to work very, very well. And I guess Google realized what's going on here and wants you to pay for Google, uh, whatever it's called, uh, to you pay a subscription and you get no ads on your YouTube. But this used to work very, very well. Now, there are alternative browsers that will do the same. And if you want me to do uh, a video on those, I've got to be a bit careful on that because obviously YouTube doesn't, like those kind of videos for obvious reasons but what is also more amazing if i go to samsung galaxy store here it is and i hate these little ads you get on that page but it's fair enough they're just promoting games or whatever and if i go to my apps and scroll down these are the ones that i've got uh not that one but it will be listed. Some of these are very good, by the way. Um, ad blocker for YouTube. If I tap on that, it's still in their own store, which is interesting. And it tells you it's, it does work, etc., etc. Um, very interesting that it's there, still promoted, but it doesn't work anymore. I'm going to uninstall it in a minute. But just to show you, if I uninstall it, okay. Now, I go back, it still allows me to install it. Wait a few seconds, I've got fast internet, and it's installing. And when I go to play or try to use it, you'll see it says, okay, watch this. So if I go, um, now, if I go back to the Samsung internet, and if I go to add-ons, new, get uh, not working. Now, if I tap, if I turn it on or try to do it, it doesn't work. And if I do that, and it gives you an explanation why it no longer works. I've just kept it on long enough to show, do this video to show you that. Um, and I'm now using or I'm thinking about switching to, just to let you know, complete change here. If I go to... Uh, here, I'm finding Opera to be very, very good, and I'll explain why on a separate video if there's enough interest. Uh, but just to show you or tease you, if you like, that's the home page. They've got their own news section, which is really good. And you've got all these settings that I can go through on a separate video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Press subscribe for more tips like this. Be safe. See you soon.